What's up, y'all? It's been a while since I did a tour review because, well, lately I've been doing my podcast, which has been doing pretty good, not gonna lie. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Hello, guys. It's me, Brokusatsu. And here, yeah, today we are here to review the Power Ranger Lightning Collection Luna Wolf Ranger or Wild Force, Wild Force Silver from Power Rangers Wild Force or Gal Silver from Gal Ranger, whatever version you want to call it. Now, to get this out of the way, I want to talk about this. I, uh, I might have a bias towards this character because I man was like one of my favorite six rangers. <laughs> Funny enough, I don't talk about him that much, but yeah. Man's like one of my favorite six rangers in Power Rangers. And let's talk about the let's talk about what happened to this figure. First off, uh, get out of the way. Yes, I know. My copy has five stripes. I know. I know. Second of all, I know the boots are incorrect as well. To be honest with you. That, I'm not happy how Hasbro, I'm not happy how Hasbro messed up on that, but, I don't, there's no but, there's no defending them. They're pretty stupid. <laughs> hey Hasbro, if y'all, if y'all can stop milking MMPR, stop focusing on MMPR just one focus on other season, we wouldn't have another QC issue with another fan favorite Six Ranger. Just saying! Because, all times I counted with Hasbro doesn't like Hasbro does not like every six ranger that ain't Tommy. They they did with Trent, Sam, <laughs> Tommy, Ironic, and they're the Merrick. Hasbro. They're a way better they're they're a way better power this season in six ranger that aren't Tommy. Fix your shit. It's getting annoying. So uh yeah, aside from that, uh, that went. Let's talk about the figure. So, scope wise, what I think. Again, mine's just stripes and, and the mess up boots. This somewhat looks like Merrick from the actual show. I've been I've been playing with the figure a lot, and I took a lot of pictures. And my God, I love this figure. The last time I had last time I had a good fun time with a figure was for Lightning Collection was uh. Wiley from Wiley last year, and that figure one of my favorite Lightning Collection figures of 2021. Merrick over here might be 2022 because, man, he, he looks so good. <laughs> all right, so how is for how is for articulation and all that? Well, after having for a couple of weeks. Here how his head goes up for this and that. His head can uh his head can spin by right now. There's a chip right there. Don't know what happened there. Our articulation. Uh pretty good. This is how far he goes up for his arm. So don't try to go beyond it and break this figure because <laughs> I know not a lot of people care for this figure. <laughs> that's that's sadly a fact. Right, pretty good here. I will say that if I do find the uh, correct version of this figure, I'm, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep that one in box because, well, why not? So how is it for how is it for his legs? Oh, well, right. so just hear how far his legs go. You can bend them. It feels like. I feel like this figure is a little. I feel like this figure is. I feel like this figure is somewhat of an import. You can kind of say, yeah, of an import. Pretty hard for me to say that, but uh. Yeah. Uh, Pete's giving my dogs in the background. So if you, if you hear if you hear if you hear like a barking or anything, that that's my dog. Sorry for starting, but yeah. So uh, yeah, that how that how I go for articulation. Colors rise. 
again, they're just, they're, they're just like the actual one from the actual show. Am I seeing like any like problems with mine? Well, none of where all this hair came from. There's a little, uh, not seeing no problem with my copy. Like, like, uh, his weapon did not have no paint issues, thank God, because. I find it ironic, half my LC figure have that problem, but Merrick doesn't, that's, that's pretty good. <laughs> so let's go on to accessories, because we got a lot of top for accessories, kind of, but there's something I want to bring out about his human head, about his civilian head, which is pretty, which I think kind of weird, but I think, I think I must get a bad copy of the civilian head. So before we talk about civilian head, let's go on talk about the other stuff. That other like accessory that, that this guy comes with. So here's his effect piece, which you can use for his Luna Cube in gun mode or in sword mode. Here are his claws for his iconic. Well, if you watch Wild Force in Gal Ranger, you know what these claws are for. Here's his Luna Cube and sword mode. And it's just a cube in gun mode. <laughs> and here's his uh, head. Now, question. From the promotional pictures, did his head have those type of lips? Because I remember Wild Force like it was yesterday. And I don't remember Merrick's actor having those type of lips. So, uh, hey, uh, Hasbro. Want to explain that? Because... That ain't it, Chief. That ain't it. So let's go to the size comparison. Cause, cause like we don't have like a lot to compare, but they brought some figures. And my like fell. Okay. <laughs> nope. My light. Come on, light. Okay. So here he is with Justice Valkyrie. Here he is with uh, Shadow Moon. Alright. Here he is with Curry, Curry Pink. I will I will take pictures and work on. I will take pictures and do my review on Curry Pink right here, don't worry. And here he is with. Uh, here he is with Decker Blue. Here he is with uh, Yuji. Come on. Oh, come on. Yeah. Here he is with, uh, with, with still this very day. One of the best, the, my, the best Marvel Legends figure to this very day. Before I go find the new Captain America. <laughs> All right. Oh, thanks for inspiring me. So overall, what do I think? Not gonna lie, this is actually a really fun figure. I know it's not one's favorite. But I get that, but I'll be honest with you. I want it. I been wanting a lightning collection figure on Merrick for a very long time even though this figure isn't perfect this figure isn't perfect due to due to the era with the boots and the stripes and all stripes and all that take the neck I have more positive for the figure than negative articulation is good accessories are good it's the the, the uh the civilian head isn't that good because of the brown lips they give my copy because in the promotional picture he didn't have those lips so not know what happened there has bro just just saying but yeah uh, minus all that if you want 
if you want, if you love Powers of Wild Force, a Gal Ranger, this guy is an exception. We are getting, I know that we are getting this year, we are getting Max and Cole. So I cannot wait to see and hope that Hasbro does not mess them up like what they did to like what they did to my boy Merrick right here. So yeah, that's all I'm gonna say guys. Please like, comment, subscribe. Follow all my social media in the description and make my next video will probably be a podcast review on I don't I don't know yet. I, 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 I do. My next podcast review is on Ultraman Orb, so <laughs> that's gonna be fun watching. So uh yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Also, I'll put in the description a uh, pot. A, a, I'll put in the description my. Uh, I'll put in the description the one of a podcast because, uh, because the latest episode has me in it. So yeah, I hope you all enjoy me. Why? Hope, hope you all enjoy me in that review in that interview destroying Exade. <laughs> so yeah, ciao. Question two.